DBL Nation, do you ever feel lost when shopping for swimwear? I've been going through this for like three months. Yeah, Seriously. Yeah. If a swimsuit is the right fit for you, do you wonder that? What can you wear outside of the water? We have celebrity stylist and fashion expert, thank goodness, Kim Appelt, here to help us elevate our swim apparel. Kim, we need you. Welcome to DBL. Woo! Hey Kim, so as we get older, should we feel limited to a certain swim silhouette or color or patterns? Help us out here. I don't think, here's my thing. I don't think as we age, we need to get limited by the palettes or, or things like that. I think that you wanna really go with something that you feel good in. That's the most important thing. I know everyone says that, but the biggest thing is actually location. And I wanna know if any of you guys have done this. So think about going to put on a bathing suit and you're going to like a very bougie Cute. hotel and you put on your like leopard bikini and you're like, wait a minute, this is the wrong environment. And so I, I just, I feel like you need to tailor yourself. So those were two examples. Like in Miami, you might wear something different than you might if you are somewhere much more like preppy and mm -hmm. classic a different environment because you really stick out like a sore thumb. So my answer to that is it's location specific to, I think, what bathing suit you should choose and you just want to choose something that you feel good and you feel comfortable i'm so glad you said location specific because i'm trying to wear a suit i feel comfortable with in at the pool where there's parents and kids that's important to me now if i go to miami i'll whip out the yes cute you one, will right? Right. yes um, you will <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for those of us that don't feel comfortable in swimwear what are some things we can wear to feel more confident at the pool or beach well i mean the most obvious one is the cover-up um, and so again, being a mom at the pool, I think this is something, this is a common thing. Yes. So the first image that you see, I'm so obsessed with this bathing suit is by a company called Shan. It matches the cover up. This is not the pool with the kids outfit. This is you are on a bougie vacation with your partner, with girlfriends, whatever. But still, if you don't feel comfortable in your bathing suit, you have a bit of a cover up. The second one, a linen shirt, you can throw on like an oversized linen shirt with the kids. You're gonna be covered. You're not gonna look too exposed. And it's just a very good look. The third one, there's many skirts and like sort of sports style tops out there. So if you do have little kids or you're chasing grandkids, this is a great piece for you. Mm. So don't be afraid of the cover ups. There's so many different kind of options that you can wear in many different environments that work for you. Love it. Those are great notes and great options. But like, how do we make the situation of going to buy these options more pleasant? I know <laughs> that shopping for swimwear is very unpleasant for a lot of people. So how do we make the actual buying of these suits fun? It's true. It's not super pleasant for everyone, and I get that. Um, number one, if you really don't want to do it, shop online. That's an mm. option for you. Take note of like the model size. Oftentimes they'll say this model is this tall. This model is wearing this size. So start to get familiar with that. So if you can shop online, number two, take a great friend. We all have that friend that's amazing, funny, confident, like pumps you up. Take her or him. Bring them because they're going to give you that energy that's going to kind of get you motivated. And number three is don't go into shopping for your swimwear looking like you just rolled out of bed because you ultimately have to stare in the mirror and try on all these different suits. And if you have like greasy hair in a bun or whatever it is that you've done, you're just not going to be impressed with yourself in anything that you put on. That's fair. I also think the uh, the uh, dressing room lighting, that's something there. The mirrors, it's not me, it's the lighting. Um, Kim, we <laughs> all have very different body shapes. Everyone in the chat sort of writing this right now. There are many different types of swimsuits. Can you please help us understand what silhouette is best for the different body shapes? So I'm going to start with my shape. It's apple, where you're sort of like bigger right in the middle. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, that's beautiful. That's darling. <laughs> I'm up, so, so apples, this is a beautiful example for apples. You might be a little thicker in the middle. Yes. So look at the ruching in that strapless suit. That one's actually from Veronica Beard. I love the neutral color. Again, that's not a bathing suit by the pool with your kids, maybe in black, yeah. but that's more of a fancy one. But the ruching really helps detract. It kind of gives you a waist slimming. The, the cut of the top is drawing attention up to your shoulders. Very beautiful. So you things like that are great for apple body type. Any type of color blocking is great cutouts um there's tons of bathing suits that will suck you in if that is your thing mm -hmm. i believe so many on the market and you can just type in like tummy control cutouts color blocking whatever you want and you will see a million options come up okay that's good tell me about the pear body let's not hear it for the pears a little bit wider the in the bottom we love the pears 
We love the parents. Here's the thing about the parents. You are caring more on the bottom, and that is amazing and beautiful. And you want to work with, you want to give some details to the tops. So look at that green one with the ruffles. So love beautiful. That. Because your eye is drawn up. I love the one color, the color blocking the black on the bottom. It's slimming the bottom, but really drawing you to the top. And especially a wrap suit like that. Mm. Absolutely stunning. It's going to be so comfortable. It's going to hold everything in. And it's a showstopper. I love that. All right, what about the hourglass body? We're not going to exclude them. Hourglass, let's hear it. I mean, the hourglass, we love you, and you have the best body type for to wear most things, and so you are so lucky. You are narrow in the waist. You can wear most things, and pretty much anything works for you as long as you highlight your waist and you feel good in it. Wow. Wow. I really... Just please, Kim, like, come shopping with us, Yeah, right? she's that friend. <laughs> I'm so good at these suits. Kim, thank you so much for joining us today. To our viewers, follow Kim on Instagram at StyleByKimXO for more fashion tips. You can also pre-order Kim's new book, Style for Everybody, on Amazon or through Barnes & Nobles. Thanks again, Kim. Thank you, Kim. We'll be right back. Thank you. Bye.